side dish I'm making uh, one cup of brown rice. You can also use cauliflower rice if you follow low carb diet. I'm adding two cups of water and will cook over the stove for about 40 minutes or until the rice is soft to my liking. Feel free to also use a rice cooker if you have one. I like to add one teaspoon of salt, also some black pepper and splash of an extra virgin olive oil. While the rice is cooking, you will start working on the curry. For two portions, you will need to cube about half of a white onion. Also cube 350 grams of chicken breast. quarter teaspoon of salt, add two teaspoons of curry, sprinkle with some black pepper and mix it all well together. Add about one tablespoon of olive or vegetable oil into a pan, add the cubed onion and place it on the stove for about five minutes to saute the onion until lightly browned. Meanwhile, prepare your vegetables, chop two medium carrots and small broccoli crown into bite pieces. Rip and I, uh, we just love this sauce. To me, it's a perfect comfort food. Sometimes I also make vegan version with tofu and chickpeas. So let me guys know in the comment section below if you would be interested in vegan version of curry. I would happily make that video for you as well. chicken breast into the pan with onion and cook until golden and I had to move it into a bigger pot um, because I just love doing dishes guys <laughs> no, just kidding it just wouldn't fit add your vegetables and I'm also adding two cups of water and quarter cup of heavy whipping cream well and cover and cook over low medium heat until the vegetables is nice and soft. Meanwhile prepare your thickening solution. I'm using two tablespoons of coconut flour but you can also use cornstarch, almond flour or regular flour. Add about double amount of water to dissolve the flour. Feel free to add as much or as little depending on how thick or thin you like your sauce to be. And then start adding it little at a time until you reach your desired sauce thickness. Then continue cooking for another about two minutes. At this point add more salt or pepper if you like. And now it's time to enjoy super tasty creamy chicken vegetable curry.